There's work that's occurring for defensive purposes as well as public health purposes. The U.S. Department of Defense has more than 100 years. No, but they're being used for military purposes. See, diseases. that is very different, uh, Ms. Parthmore. Ms. Parthmore, I think I think you need to explain this because you just tried to tell me some time back, in fact, about I'm a minute back, that this it. was for public health. Whereas I have come to you and I have I have just confronted you and said that there has been increased funding for the Nimble Elder Program of the Defense Threat Research Agency, which is driven by, quote-unquote, classified Department of Defense guidance. And this is aimed with, uh, with low visibility, low visibility, which means the world should not know, chemical and biological research for military purposes. But you just said public health. This doesn't sound like public health to me at all. What are you doing in it's Ukraine, Ms. Ms. Parthma? Would you, would you care to clarify, please? Because you have used biological weapons and chemical weapons in the past. 